the National Football League. Up next, we'll get a look at Patrick Mahomes. He had a solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Chiefs and the Bucks on Sunday night primetime. And we're about five miles northwest of downtown Tampa at beautiful Raymond James Stadium near Florida's Gulf Coast. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brandon Gordon alongside my good friend Charles Davis. And, CD, this is as interesting a quarterback matchup as you're going to see. Two guys who have started in and won Super Bowls. Patrick Mahomes of the Chiefs, Tom Brady of the Bucks. And what a fraternity these two belong to. Quarterbacks that have started and won a Super Bowl. Think about it this way, partner. We're approaching Super Bowl 60, so you would think there'd be a whole lot of guys, but really it's a small list of people who have gotten to the big game and won it. And here we have two of them on the field in this one. Two one and two teams, each hoping to get back to 500, and we're underway in week four. From the 10. I don't know what was going on there, but the end result, this is going to be a safety. Mm. Well, for a little bit, we thought his story had concluded, but not to be. Here's Tom Brady in his 23rd NFL season leading the Bucs offense out once again. For one month, many people thought they'd seen the end of the greatest quarterback career in league history. Of course, there were others who expected Tom Brady to come back, and he did so 40 days later for a 23rd NFL season. Leading the league in completions, yards, and touchdowns at age 44, he showed that he's as good as ever. But of course, losing in the divisional round, not the way he wanted to go out in his final game. For TB12, it's Lombardi trophies, a bust. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. I love this quote during the week. If I were a defensive back, I would have wanted to play against me last week as well. He's trying to eliminate those turnovers, those interceptions, and get back on the positive side of the ledger throwing touchdown passes. Yeah, had four of those picks, led to the loss. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at about the 32. Here's the rookie out of Rutgers, Isaiah Pacheco. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And this time, not a success for us. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Working from the gun, Mahomes. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From midfield, here's Mahomes. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Throwing again on second and ten. Mahomes. Oh, the out route. He finds Hardman. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Now Mahomes. And the throw there going to be incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. Mahomes throwing on fourth. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they find a way to convert on fourth and ten. And again, it's Mahomes. Trying to set up the screen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. He's at the 30. Ten, five, and it's a pick six. Your mouth 
is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. Extra point put through by Succo, and the lead is up to five. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And now following the safety, they'll have the football with a chance to take the lead as they begin following the free kick with a first and ten. Now the Holmes to try again after the pick six. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Our game here, Bucks and Chiefs, certainly one of the crown jewels of this 2022 NFL schedule. Of course, a rematch of that memorable Super Bowl 55, Tom Brady's seventh Super Bowl title, when his guys really outmanned the Kansas City team who came up short in their quest to go back-to-back. -back. And you look at these two quarterbacks, Brady, just a legend of the game. Many say the go. Mahomes, certainly you could say on a similar trajectory. And then we'd be remiss for not mentioning these two, of course, shared a Madden cover back in 2021. So this a hot ticket indeed here in Tampa. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. He's got the first down and more. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Mahomes now to throw. The quick slant caught. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. Second and goal from the 1. They'll try to run this one in, and he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco with his first career NFL touchdown, and the Chiefs have retaken the lead. The PAT up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, keep it. And that flag accepted. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. We've got a little more than a minute to go, and I think the offense is saying, hey, all we need here, a field goal, and we can take the lead into intermission. Well, I think that's what the goal should be. Give your kicker a chance to give you those three points. But in the meantime, if someone falls asleep on the defensive side, you might take advantage of that and get a big shot downfield, too. And they work this well upfield across the 45. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Brady gets away with one. Lucky could have been intercepted, but it falls to the ground. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. 
A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. That's not the first time they've gone his way on this drive, and they were obviously keyed into it because they were there to help break that pass up. Now Brady on the bootleg. And that is incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we're talking about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. They'll go for it. It's Brady. Going across the formation there, Zotton with it. And he's going to have the Bucks first down on a well-designed play there. That gets him 16 to move the chains. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. And a quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Meanwhile, Brady's throw complete to Otten. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. Suckup's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So a very tight first half. We had to... All right, folks, eager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and ten. A third quarter now to one-point game as they line up second and ten. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Miko Hardman, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here this third quarter. Mahomes will throw for it. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. Brady and the Buccaneers here, first and 10 at their own 16. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On play action, now Brady. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 
That one goes for 24 yards. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And his throw's going to be incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Now a play fake. Brady. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And the lead is now two. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's Mike Evans who caps it with a touchdown reception. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. Here's the Chiefs punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Gets set to take over. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. On play action, it's Brady. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. This is caught by Evans. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 of the 34. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Brady's throw taken in by Evans here. And out across midfield down to the 45. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. The end result, 21 yards. Play action. Now it's Brady. Evans has it left side. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Brady going to throw here. Wide open receiver complete. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Mike Evans. He has career touchdown number 78, tying in with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list. And the Buccaneers are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Back to throw, Brady. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Popular down near the goal line, quick 
Big slam. Nice job there to get in, knock it away. It was. One of the other things you're concerned about when you throw that route is to make sure your offensive linemen use their leverage to get the hands of the defensive front down so you can throw it through that little bit of crowd and get it to the receiver. In this event, they did, but a nice play by the defender knocking it away. Here comes Mahomes and the Chiefs. Down by eight. A minute 46 to go. And they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and ten. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there. And just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really starting to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. He's got a man complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A dump down to McKenna. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now Mahomes. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Mahomes will throw. And that will be incomplete. Parker, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's take a look with the offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. He's at the 50. The 30. Pass the 20. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for Buccaneer TD. about as tough as they come you're driving to try to put the ball in the end zone and tie the game and that happens it's exciting for us wasn't it because we were thinking hey we might be headed towards overtime instead it looks like this one may very well be done and guess what if you're a fantasy owner and you have that defense you just had a big big game didn't you the Bucks summon their offense back onto the field here they're going to go for two so after the INT, it's Brady. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. And there's a quick momentum swing. INT return for a pick six, and then the two-point conversion good. And even if you're keeping your wits about you, you're thinking to yourself, okay, extra point block team going into the game now. All of a sudden, you're hearing defense. Everyone's scrambling for their helmets and throwing down their cups of water. That's a great position for them to be in, trying to score against that team. A little bit disjointed. And out come the Chiefs now. The last time, everything looked pretty good except that final play. Six, and now they've got to come right back out here, Charles, and try to pick up the pieces and get things going again. Yeah, it certainly seems dire, doesn't it? But there is a silver lining, and it is hard to see so soon after that touchdown. But the game plan was definitely working. They were generating offense, had the ball behind midfield, getting wins on each down against the defense. So they're moving it well. They just have to hang on to it. Yeah, as you said, though, probably tough to remember those good things on that last drive when it ended like it did. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw into the hands here of Hardman. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with a clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. Mahomes. And that one is caught. So they convert here and don't look now, but this one's back to a one-score game. And now we've got a one-score game and at least a little light at the end of the tunnel. Is that what we call a glimmer of hope? Glimmer of hope. Because they've got to get an onside kick and then find their way into the end zone before time expires. Glimmer or what's less than a glimmer? I don't know. You're, you're the one that knows all the big words. <laughs> uh, a sparkle? A sparkle. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's what we're going with. Open man downfield is Hardman. He's got it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 
And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. Mahomes steps away to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Shaquille Barrett buries him for a loss of 11 from his outside linebacker spot. Well, came down to the final play in such a close ball game. What a game it was, but they can't get that last throw off. Good job by that defense to get in there for the sack to seal it. And for fans watching the game, a little bit anticlimactic, don't you think, partner? Not even able to get off one last throw to see how it would have turned out. Instead, pass rush got to him and ended it that way. So for Tampa Bay, it'll be a 500 start as the win gets them back to 2-2. Two and two. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Atlanta Falcons next week. Meanwhile, for Kansas City, they'll drop down to 1-3. And, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.